Hi, I'm Tony Cronus. Yesterday in the UK we had a real downpour of rain. It reminded me of a, a song uh, performed by the Cascades, released by them in 1962, called The Rhythm of the Rain. It was written by Cascades band member John Claude Gummo. Spent two weeks at number one in the US, and in 1963 it was top five hit in the United Kingdom. 1999, it was listed as the ninth most performed song on radio and TV in the 20th century. It was also used as the soundtrack for the 1979 film Quadrophenia. I'll sing it through and then I'll go through the chords and in particular the strumming pattern I'm using. Listen to the rhythm of the falling rain Telling me just what fool I've been it didn't go and let me try in vain and let me be alone again. Only girl I ever loved has gone away looking for a brand new star. Little does she know when she left that day along with her she took my heart. Brain till tell me now does that still care for her to see my heart away when she don't care. Can't love another when my heart's somewhere far away. Listen to the rhythm of the falling rain, telling me just what a fool I've been. I wish that it would go and let me come in vain. This song has got five chords in it, a C chord, an F chord, a G7, an E minor and an A minor. Strumming patterns, well anybody who's seen this channel uh, before will know I'm not keen on putting strumming patterns uh, at the beginning of a song, uh, partly because I like to be more improvisational in responding to the song uh, and also because I think you've got an awful lot to think about with the chords and melody the harmony uh, everything else without having to think about doing a strumming pattern all the way through and I, it, it looks that better to me to build up a vocabulary of patterns and then choose the one that's most appropriate at a particular time quite often you can just follow the rhythm of the words but in this one, I think I do like to have a rhythm uh, more or less going all the way through. And the one I'm using is starting with a fan stroke, which is where you put each finger in turn across the strings. Finishing with the thumb. Simply a way of extending the sound. And then I do one, two, and three, but it's not the only one. You could do a one, one, two, and three, and four, and one, two, and three. Or you could do one, two, and three, and four. And there are more possibilities. If you want to look at more possibilities, have a look at my video on drumming patterns on the ukulele. Oh, look out. Let's start again. Let's take shelter. Anyway. Hope you found that interesting and useful and as always, uh, whatever you do, however you do it, have fun.